Welcome back to our Jamboard practice. Here's another possibility. Remember up here in backgrounds where I showed you dots and lines and the grid, and we talked about how you could make the dots some kind of a game, or you can talk about different kinds of art. You got options. Same way with the lines. If you're working with younger students who are learning how to make and actually form the letters, maybe this works for that. Maybe it just keeps everything organized. Maybe something else, message me. What else could we do with this? I think it could do a lot. Next to that, we've got this grid. And the reverse of that grid, if it's easier for students to see, I'd obviously leave that up to the teacher using it. Math teachers, you could use this a lot of different ways. Maybe you're trying to teach somebody how to do the equation of a straight line. I had to Google it. I remember y equals mx plus b, but I don't know how to figure it out. And when I look it up and I find this website, I say, okay, maybe I can figure this out. But wouldn't it be nice as a teacher to be able to show your students in real time, especially the math challenge like me, what that really means. You've got the line and they can see that you're drawing the line and then you draw the one that goes across it and they can understand that it's not gonna be perfect, but here's what we're trying to do. And in another color, while they're watching you, you can draw the slope of that line. And maybe over here, you can write out the formula and explain why means this, M is something else, X is something else, and then there's B. And then down here, here's the formula. Now we'll go plug in the data that you have. When you can talk about the Y axis and the X axis and share it with students and get them to label the parts they need to label. And, and have them figure out what the equation of the straight line is. That That's a real life situation. And I know as somebody who always struggled with just give me the right answer, this would keep a student from just getting you the right answer. You could see exactly what their process looked like. You could help them, especially if this is shared, obviously. Here, you were struggling with this in class, let's go do this. And, and be able to show them exactly what it is you want them to do. So math formulas, um, balancing equations in science, using it with different proofs in geometry, figuring out how much this angle is because you know the slope of this other line, whatever triangle, circle, any math kind of a thing that you can come up with. Here's a way for you to demonstrate it. And you'd have the end result but you'd also have the process here for students. If you were using this with a Google Meet, you would have that end result saved in your jam that's shared with whoever you shared it with. But in the Google Meet, you would have the video of you explaining it and possibly students there in the class interacting with you and telling you how to make that all work together. Another, I think, really exciting possibility with this is the math teacher using it to teach whatever formula, whatever, anything you can imagine. And when combined with the feature that would let you update the cylinder or the cone or the whatever you have, or even go look for it out here, I wanna find the area of a cylinder, you can go find the cylinder, overlay it on this, and have it to use in all the ways that you need to use it with your students. So another way that backgrounds and color coding and showing the process could help you help your students understand your content and your processes. Hope that was helpful. Hope you see possibilities for it.